So, Dad, the first team you want to talk about is the Leafs. They made a lot of trades. Well, they got Nick Felino. You remember his dad, big jump he used to after he scored. I think he hurt his ankle. He hurt his ankle, didn't he? He broke time? his ankle. Yeah, he, he jumped after a goal in, at Maple Leaf Gardens. He played for the his dad, Mike, played for the Leafs, and he yeah, I remember he hurt. His, he broke boy, his ankle. He, I, he used to jump. Can well, I he hasn't me? got many points, but he's a lot. Of, he's a character guy. That's what they're going after. I, I, and as we talk here, uh, they got Riddich. Um, I, I wonder about Anderson, whether his uh, groin or whatever it is he's got, whether he's going to be back next year. One of my favorite players. But anyhow, all you young defensemen out there that are big and just move the puck. If you, I looked out over the list here. That's all. The, uh, I can hear the coach saying, now, just get me a big defenseman that uh, moves the puck. And, yeah. and, and that's what they got. Uh, the uh, Leafs got that Ben Hunton. He's a big guy, six foot two. Yeah, and he's he stay from, at home, five he's, points. Uh, he's from Brockville. Yeah, Brockville, Ontario, and um, and uh, Riley Nash, another big guy, and they're all they're all um, guys he's, that they have. If somebody gets hurt, could step right in. Yeah, he's from Con, uh, Consort, Alberta, and uh, well, Felino's tough. He drops the gloves, and the oh, Leafs, he, the, he, Leafs he, the Leafs he, got bigger, and the Leafs got a little bit more of an edge yeah, already. You know. I, yeah, they everybody got everybody they picked up was with an edge. Not maybe I'm wrong. I, I I'll say it again. I just don't understand the, the organization. The organization, everybody they pick up is somebody with an edge, big guys. Yeah, you Thornton, know, Simmons. Go down the list. They're all big. They all play with a semi, the, the good play, and they draft all Europeans. Yeah. I, can somebody please tell me the re- the reason? I I just don't understand. And everybody they trade for is is big and can move the puck and plays with an edge. And they draft all Europeans. I don't know. I, I just I told you that. I said I wondered if halfway or the beginning of the season he got a, didn't get a tap on the shoulder and said okay, Stuba said taps. You're going nowhere. Well, it's time. The experiment's over. We gotta we gotta start doing what all the teams do. Right? Well. Him. Can I tell a, a quick uh, funny story about Nick Felino's dad? Oh, yeah. I'll tell yeah, a quick but... funny, funny story. You were coaching Team Canada in Sweden, and uh, it was Team Canada, I guess, I think it was 1980, and Mike Felino was on the team, and Guy Lafleur was on the team. And we were playing the Russians, and the first period... Should have beat them. We should have beat them. We, we were the only team that year to, out, to outshoot the Russians. So in the, it was, I think it was 1-1, and uh, it was about... Two minutes, it was like about two minutes to go in the first period, and it, we had a two on none. It was it was Mike Felino and Guy Lafleur on the breakaway, two on none on Tretiak. So Mike gives it to Guy, Guy gives it back to Mike, Mike gives it to Guy, Guy gives it back to Mike, and then Mike shot it about three feet over the net. <laughs> so we're in, you're in the dressing room after, and you so we go you go okay guys just before we go. You get uh, Guy, how many goals did you get last year? Guy, you know, 55. He said, Mike, how many goals did you get last year? He says, 12. He goes, okay, guys, next time a 12-goal score is going on a two-on-done with a 50-goal score, let the 50-goal score shoot. <laughs> that, we should have beat them that year. We, yeah. we had a good we, – we I, we I think we were up one goal. And as you, you talk, I, I look them back now, and, and I said, don't get a penalty because the one thing they had was a great – Power play, you yeah, know, yeah. and I said, "Don't get a penalty." And and the, and I won't name the guy. I never forgot. Nobody liked him. Uh, what do I care? And he went out, and the first minute got a penalty. Well, I and tripped, like just, just tripped just, the guy right like, in front of the referee. Like I said, let's go out and get a penalty. <laughs> That's right. And then Bing they went up three one. I think I forget to score. I think we lost four three or four two. But we were the, that year. We outshot them. That was the only team in the whole tournament. That was the only game that got outshot. And Trechek stood on his head. Yeah, and we, we should have we, we should have beat them. Yeah. But I remember saying at the end, don't get a penalty. And he went out, and I, and I tell you where the penalty was. It was along the blue line, and the guy, he was cutting the other way, and he just lifted his feet out from under him. Yeah. Anyhow, yeah. I, 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 I like so, it. I like the Leafs are going for the, they're going for the downs. They're going, the, they're going for the, the Stanley Cup. Can I ask you one question, though, Dad? They've what, won 10 or 11 in a row right now? Campbell's yeah. on a row. Did they, did you know, they have a good thing going. Do you think they could ever screw up a team, the chemistry, to bring in this many guys in? Yeah, but I don't know, but you, let's, let's, let's lay the cards on the table. Jack Campbell's playing pretty good for them, yeah. and he's the guy. As long as he doesn't get hurt, what, 
They got a good backup. They got an expansion team going next year too. They'll grab a, a goaltender off them probably. Yeah, that was the one thing I thought that maybe they got Riddich because they're going to have to protect the two yeah. goalies, and maybe they they want to protect Anderson, but who knows? Well, they're going for the downs, and they're not fooling around, and uh, you got to give it to the Leafs. Well.